So you want to give a quiz and you have students who English is not their first language. Sometimes you have the luxury of having a, a translator there who can uh, translate each question and read it out loud multiple times if needed to the student. But if you have multiple students needing that kind of assistance, it might just be easier for the translator to translate the, um, the question one time, record it with a program like vocaroo.com. And um, as you can see here, it just really easy. You click record, um, you say the translations for each question, or actually just do it one question at a time. And then the answer choices, choices as well. Click stop. Click here to save. And it'll give you uh, the ability to download it as an MP3. Or you can um, you could even just save it as a link. So I'll save the link. And I can embed it within my question. Um, the option to do that is where are you? Description. There we go. So you click on these three dots down there. It opens up a little menu. You could put uh, description and a description underneath your question shows up and you could put um, maybe Arabic translation, copy the link in there, and I view this mini little one question fake quiz as a preview and see what the students would see. This is what they'd see. And you can have them click on the translation and it would read off the translation. Um, you say the translations for each question. Actually, just do it one question at a time. And the answer. And there's a lot of other options too. Um, you could use Screencastify, which I'm currently using to actually screencast the um, recording. You could even like point to or outline things like I'm doing right now with Screencastify and just put that link inside the description. Um, there are so many options here, but uh, this just occurred to me when I was playing around with the Vokaroo. I think that's a very powerful tool. I plan to use it immediately.